Hello, hope you're well this evening. First tonight, the campaign against the automatic early release of rapists from prison. The father of a woman who was raped and tortured in Sheffield phoned Look North to tell us his daughter's attacker is about to be freed. He served six years of a 12-year sentence. Now, a law change means rapists won't automatically be released in future, but this comes too late in this case. There's also concern the attacker could return to live in the city on his release. Our social affairs correspondent Emma Glasby has the story. It's been six years since the assault. I'm finding it incredibly difficult to come to terms with the fact that he will be released from prison. I don't believe that someone who is capable of inflicting such inhumane trauma on another person is capable of rehabilitation. The words of a woman known as Laura. She was raped and tortured in Sheffield by this man. Benjamin Ressio Nugent was sentenced to 12 years, but having been in prison six years, he's about to be released on license. Laura and her family now face the reality that her attacker will be free to return to their home city. I think she's finding it hard to believe that it's happening so soon. She's keen not to be portrayed as someone who's shrinks away from this in fear, and um, she's a strong woman. She wants to get on with her life without any further trauma. Laura's father has started a petition to try and prevent the early release of any other rapists who've only served half their sentence behind bars. The law on rape has been changed recently, so in the future, I don't think rapists will be given half a sentence on licence. But that doesn't help anybody who's already a rape survivor, whose attacker might be freed any time in the next few years. And I don't see how politicians can speak about women being safe on the streets when they allow people to be let out halfway through a sentence. The family's local MP is trying to make sure the attacker faces restrictions on where he can go. She says the criminal justice system has failed Laura. I don't think I've ever met or worked with a victim of rape or domestic abuse that hasn't been let down by the criminal justice system. This is an unusual case in the first instance that it was able to get to trial and that the um, defendant was actually given a jail sentence. The fact that then he's released automatically halfway through is unacceptable. This woman and her family feel horribly let down and um, we're just trying to use every option available to us now to give them some measure of protection and comfort.